For the first time in over 20 years, the most prestigious ranking event in women's snooker was held outside of the UK. It's the very first time for the Ladies Snooker Championship to be held in Asia. And hopefully this will bring new faces to the game and create more awareness for the sport. I've wanted this to happen for so long and there's no better place in the world in my opinion than Singapore to have our first inaugural event overseas. It's proven that there are a lot more ladies out there playing, even girls, so obviously this is only going to publicise ladies snooker and at the minute this is what we need. We've got 32 great players from around the world here this week and we're very pleased with that because the more you know, women that play within the NGBs, the more chance we'll, we'll end up with our end goal, which is to develop a women's game alongside an open sport where we can actually go forward for an Olympic bid for 2024. Over seven days, the top eight players were kept apart during the group stages. Two players would advance from each of the groups and would be seeded going into the quarter-finals. In a dramatic concluding day, the semi-finals saw Rianne Evans face Ng On Yi in a repeat of last year's final. This time, On Yi trailed by 60 points in the last frame, but made a break of 50 before clearing from green to pink to snatch a 5-4 win. It was always going to be a tough top half of the draw but uh, I just threw every frame away today and it's my own fault for the loss. Meanwhile in the other semi-final India's Vidya Pillai saw off England's Rebecca Granger 5-1 to become the first Indian player to reach the final. I tried my hardest today but unfortunately a lack of sleep last night uh, and the two changing pace of the, of the players, I, I play fast, she played very slow, so it slowed me down so I couldn't get into my rhythm today. The first ever All-Asian final in this event saw Hong Kong's Ng On Yi take on Pillai. And it was On Yi who took a 5-4 lead before her opponent forced the decider. It came down to the last two balls, Pillai trailing by four points hit the pink but fouled the black. A relieved Onyi then potted the pink to win the frame 66-50 and claim her second World Women's Championship title by six frames to five. I'm still dreaming because I'm I was so nervous and it's been a long day. Now already 1.44 a.m. <laughs>